Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing a review on the Davos Seaverth Pop. Now this is one of my favourite characters from Game of Thrones. Davos is very, very underrated character I believe in Game of Thrones and hopefully he survives to the end. I really do hope that. Like I said, he's one of my favourite characters at the moment. He seems to be serving as the right hand for Jon Snow in his rightful place alongside the King of the North. Now this is a fantastic Funko Pop. I picked this up on my one of my last toy hunts to Rygate, to Milk Comic Book Store, I managed to pick this up for about £12, I think. Which is a bit overpriced normally, I could have picked it up for 9 but I like to support my local comic book shops, so they stay around so I can get cool pops. Uh, you've got Game of Thrones at the top there, number 62, Davos Seaworth on the bottom, a nice picture of Davos there. And um, Davos Seaworth on the side. All the others available on the back. I really do want that new Jon Snow and that white, um, that giant, that giant white there. I really would like that. And I'm definitely going to pick up the Daenerys on the throne. So stay tuned to reviews, probably of the whole wave. There's Davos on the side. There he is on the top. And let's waste no time and get Davos out of the box and take a look at him. So here's the Davos out of the box, and he's a great looking pop. I really like the detail throughout on that beard. I really like the white they've done there for like the symbol grey in his beard. He's obviously his beard's very grey, and he's got uh, a nice sort of like whiter hair there. He's got big bags under his eyes, and if you know anything about Game of Thrones, the stress he's been through, he deserves those bags under his eyes. And um, yeah, like I say, he's a really cool character. He served Stannis Baratheon in the first few seasons of it, but now he's alongside Jon Snow and his rightful place. And I'm, I'm, I was really hoping he didn't die, and I'm so glad that he's still going in the show. Sorry if that spoils it for you. But he's got a really nice uh, orange uh, striped sword sheath there. I really like that. I like the green they've used for his um, his uh, coat there. I really think that's a cool-looking thing. I really think that's a nice colour for out, and the brown on his gloves, it looks really nice. From the side there as well, you can see his cool-looking beard and the back of his hair. And um, let's turn him around to the back. And like I said, a nice solid green colour throughout on, the, on this. This is a really cool pop. I really got on with quite nice paint apps. I mean, the back of his head there is really nice as well. And then from the side, it's cool as well. Davos is a very simple looking pop. There's not much to him, but you can definitely identify who that is if you're a Game of Thrones fan. I will be taking him out of box as my Game of Thrones collection is mostly unboxed pops, except exclusives and chases, which aren't any chases, but exclusives I will keep in box. This is a really cool looking pop, and I can't wait to have him displayed alongside Jon Snow in my display. I really like him. So guys, um, I hope you like this quick review. It's not really much more to say about Davros, but I hope you uh, think he's a really cool looking character. And um, don't forget, guys, um, to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links in the description below. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Leave a comment. All the same stuff I always say. And um, till next time, guys. Bye bye. Next, there's Davros next to Davros. Davros, 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 Davros. That's a mouthful. See you guys.